आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी नमस्कार सर वी हैव अचीव सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग ऑन द मून इंडिया इज ऑन द मून India created history on 23rd August 2023 1.4 billion Indians watched the live stream of the Chandrayaan mission praying for safe soft landing of the Vikram lander and the moment had come ji ha aap apne screen pe dekh sakte hain ki hum pav land paadi people are applauding let us all wait to hear from the secretary department of space आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी नमस्कार सर वी हैव अचीव सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग ऑन द मून इंडिया इज ऑन द मून इंडिया चंद्रयान थ्री हैड सक्सेसफुली लैंडेड ऑन द साउथ साइड ऑफ द मून After a failed landing 4 years earlier with the Chandrayaan 2 mission in 2019 ISRO scientists worked hard and within 4 years successfully created history documentary on chandrayaan mission we will take you through never before heard stories and the detailed journey of india's mission to the moon the chandrayaan program was announced by prime minister of india atal bihari vajpayee on 15th august 2003 atal bihari vajpayee as part of his independence day speech announced the chandrayaan program mujhe ye batane mein badi khushi ho rahi hai ki sir 1968 se pehle bharat chandrama par apna antariksh yaan bhejega ट्रेजेक्टरी Chandrayaan-1 had a moon impact probe which separated from the orbiter and struck the south pole in a controlled manner on 14th November 2008. With this mission, ISRO became the fifth national space agency to reach the lunar surface. The estimated cost of the project was 386 crore. It was intended to survey the lunar surface over a 2-year period. Among its many achievements was the discovery of widespread presence of water molecules in lunar soil. Chandrayaan-1 was a major boost to India's space program as India researched and developed indigenous technology to explore the moon. Representatives of the Russian space agency Roscosmos and ISRO signed an agreement on 12th November 2007 to work together on the Chandrayaan-1 follow-up project. Chandrayaan-2 Under the agreement, Russia was to develop the lander. After much delays and failures on the part of Russia, India decided to take up the project independently. Chandrayaan-2 was launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh on 22nd July 2019. It was designed to have an orbiter that would orbit moon almost 100 kilometers from the surface of the moon. It also had a lander called Vikram lander that was intended to have a soft landing on the moon and a rover that would explore the surface of the moon. The launch of Chandrayaan-2 was extremely successful. It was launched on the launch vehicle Mark 3, one of ISRO's heaviest rockets. On descent while attempting the soft landing on the moon, the lander in the second phase lost contact and crash landed on the moon. The chairman of ISRO had described the final descent phase as 15 minutes of terror. Barely 2 kilometers from the surface of the moon, the spacecraft lost contact. The normal performance was observed up to an altitude of 2.1 km. Subsequently, the communication from lander to ground station was lost. The data is being analyzed. In 2019, it proved to be a mile too far. Only 3 countries before India had done it and no one had done it on the south side of the moon. There was an outpouring of support for ISRO from various quarters in the aftermath of the Chandrayaan-2 crash. However, with failure comes criticism. 
Certain sections also criticized ISRO. Those who keep trying never fail. Are we going to try again? We are going to try again because we understood there are parameters beyond what we actually done the simulation in ground. We need to go further. For that, we are making a lot of you know, simulation test beds. We are also making sensors, basically looking at where you are, uh, more redundant systems, new technologies which we are not put last time. All this will come into the new lander. And with the, with the knowledge and confidence, we have to go ahead. ISRO scientists understood and studied the failures and adopted a failure-based approach to make sure the next moon mission, the Chandrayaan-3, is a success. The ability to handle parameter variation or dispersion was very limited. So what we did this time is simply expand that further. So we, instead of success-based design in Chandrayaan-2, we are doing a failure-based design in Chandrayaan-3. What all can fail and how to protect it. So this is the approach that we are taking. The Lunar South Pole region holds particular interest for scientific exploration due to studies that show large amounts of ice there. Mountainous terrain and unpredictable lighting conditions not only protect the ice from melting, but also make landing scientific probes there a challenging undertaking. This ice could contain solid-state compounds that would normally melt under warmer conditions elsewhere on the moon, compounds which could provide insight into lunar, Earth and solar system history. Chandrayaan-3 was launched on LVM-3 rocket indigenously developed by ISRO on 14 July 2023. It is a three-stage launch vehicle developed by ISRO. The LVM-3 has launched India's space capsule recovery experiment module, Chandrayaan-2 and 3. It will be used to carry Gaganyaan, the first crewed mission under Indian Human Spaceflight Program. Chandrayaan-3 became the seventh successful mission of LVM-3. This is the seventh mission of LVM-3 the successive successful mission with this the success rate of LVM3 is 100% and this is the ideal vehicle for Gaganyaan. Vikram lander along with Pragyan rover moved on its solitary journey to the moon. As Vikram lander approached the moon, a daunting challenge awaited it. Slowing down, it was traveling at close to 6,000 kilometers per hour when it entered the first stage also called the rough braking phase. At this stage Vikram lander was 30 kilometers above the moon. This is the start of what is known as the 15 minutes of terror. The spacecraft is at the mercy of its automated systems. The second stage is the attitude hold stage where the lander changed its position from horizontal to slowly becoming vertical. It's after this that the third fine braking stage arrives. It is a time of slowing down and carefully scanning of the lunar surface for the perfect landing site. Chandrayaan to lost control between the attitude hold stage and the fine braking stage and crashed into the moon. The last stage was the terminal descent stage Vikram lander was just 800 meters above the moon and it slowed down and successfully landed. Millions of viewers on 23rd August had tuned into the ISRO's streaming of the landing on YouTube. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who was at the 15th BRICS summit in South Africa also tuned into the live stream to support the scientists. The Vikram lander had entered the minutes of terror. We can see the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, who is here to encourage us and he is critically looking at the visuals. On 23rd August 2023, history was created. India became the first country to do a soft landing on the south pole of the moon. ISRO released videos and pictures of the Vikram lander in its final moments before landing on the moon and the Pragyan rover finally coming out of the Vikram lander. The mission will study the lunar surface and will improve the understanding of the moon. In the next episode, we bring to you history of the rocket that powered India's hopes and India's mission to the moon. Thank you for joining us for the first part of the documentary on Chandrayaan-3. Do share your feedback in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video. For more such videos, subscribe to Speak India.